back inside the new GT3. This morning my plan was simply to go for a drive. I'm not kidding when I said in my last video that I'm going to drive non-stop. I've been sleeping the last couple of nights around four hours a night. Just been spending every single moment possible with this car. So I've decided to come up the back side of the Grimsel Pass today because as you can see ahead, the cloud rolling over. What that means is the other side is going to be bad weather. It's also what I love about the Alps, up in the mountains with weather. On one side of the mountain, it can be beautiful and the other side, it can be snowing. Oh yes, I am loving this car so much. As you maybe can see as well, I'm using the shifter down here to change gear today quite often. Really enjoying it. So in the new GT3, it's a new design. They've made it look like a manual shifter and everyone that looks in this car thinks it's a manual. But what that means is, it's gonna overtake quickly. What that means is, it's super nice to use to change gear. So it's just a nice stick you can smash through your gears with. I love using the paddles. Super nice paddles, of course. Porsche paddles are really, really nice. It's just a nice change. And maybe what that's saying to me is I'm kind of wishing it was a manual because I keep using... I love it. I love just pulling back blasting through the gears. Oh. <laughs> Loving every moment with this car so far, as you can expect from any GT3 actually. So yes, they have improved the GT3. Yes, this is for me anyway, the best GT3 ever made. But that doesn't mean it doesn't mean you have to have the newest. It doesn't mean that when I eventually get my GT3, which hopefully is not too far away, that I'm gonna get this one. I mean, I would be very happy with the previous generation, 911.2. And as you can see now, in the clouds. As I said, now arriving at the top and yeah in the cloud so it's not going to be too much fun driving on this side but nonetheless that little blast there was the perfect way to start my day nine o'clock in the morning quick blast up the Grimsby Pass in a brand new GT3 tunnel As you saw, as I crossed over the top of the Grimsby Pass to the other side, the weather was not so good. Just entered into cloud, basically. What I've done is drive a bit further down and try and find a nice, 
picture location this looks like one at the moment I actually like it when it's cloudy not when you're fully in the cloud but when it's like that half cloud half normal like this at the moment makes for some super nice pictures so this is the photo location that I've chosen at the moment Grimsel Pass going on all the way up here so this is where we came from just now and this is towards the end this is like a kind of secret back street that I often come down pretty dramatic location and yeah how good does this look <laughs> so so nice this color with the dark floor the rocks and everything and the bad weather is just kind of perfect place for a picture really good contrast of course with this blue I'm just staring at the back. That's pretty much all I've been doing recently is I get out the car and then I come to the back. I would actually show you guys the engine in this car, but you can't, you actually can't open the boot. So if I do this here, all that opens is this. So inside you've got the oil and the cooling to top up. And that is it. That's all you can open. So can't show you guys the engine. The engine is very much inside, even lower down than the previous GT3, as I've heard. And yeah, this does not open. So I can't show you the engine, sadly, but it is in there, obviously, as you've heard and seen, it is one hell of an engine. But thanks for watching today's video of another drive with the GT3. So it is a very happy child for now.